In theoretical physics, quantum nonlocality most commonly refers to the phenomenon by which measurements made at a microscopic level contradict a collection of notions known as local realism that are regarded as intuitively true in classical mechanics. However, some quantum mechanical predictions of multi-system measurement statistics on entangled quantum states cannot be simulated by any local hidden variable theory. An explicit example is demonstrated by Bell's theorem, which has been verified by experiment. Experiments have generally favored quantum mechanics as a description of nature, over local hidden variable theories. Any physical theory that supersedes or replaces quantum theory must make similar experimental predictions and must therefore also be nonlocal in this sense. Quantum nonlocality is a property of the universe that is independent of our description of nature. Quantum nonlocality does not allow for faster than light communication, and hence is compatible with special relativity. However, it prompts many of the foundational discussions concerning quantum theory. In October 2018, physicists reported that quantum behavior can be explained with classical physics for a single particle, but not for multiple particles as in quantum entanglement and related nonlocality phenomena. History Einstein, Podolsky and Rosen In 1935 Einstein, Podolsky and Rosen published a thought experiment with which they hoped to expose the incompleteness of the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics in relation to the violation of local causality at the microscopic scale that it described. Afterwards, Einstein presented a variant of these ideas in a letter to Erwin Schrödinger, which is the version that is presented here. The state and notation used here are more modern, and akin to Bohm's take on EPR. The quantum state of the two particles prior to measurement can be written as psi a b equals 1 2 0 a 1 b minus 1 a 0 b equals 1 2 plus Minus B minus minus a plus B display style left psi underscore a b right wrangle equals frac 1 sqrt 2 big left 0 right wrangle underscore a left 1 right wrangle underscore b left 1 right wrangle underscore a left 0 right wrangle underscore b big equals frac 1 sqrt 2 big left plus right wrangle underscore a left right wrangle underscore b left right wrangle underscore a left plus right wrangle underscore b big where plus or minus equals 1 2 0 plus or minus 1 display style left pm right wrangle equals frac 1 sqrt 2 left left 0 right wrangle pm left 1 right wrangle right here, subscripts A and B distinguish the two particles, though it is more convenient and usual to refer to these particles as being in the possession of two experimentalists called Alice and Bob. The rules of quantum theory give predictions for the outcomes of measurements performed by the experimentalists. Alice, for example, will measure her particle to be spin up in an average of 50% of measurements. However, according to the Copenhagen interpretation, Alice's measurement causes the state of the two particles to collapse, so that if Alice performs a measurement of spin in the z direction, that is with respect to the basis 0 a 1 a display style left 0 right wrangle underscore a left 1 right wrangle underscore a then Bob's system will be left in one of the states 0 b 1 b display style left 0 right wrangle underscore b left 1 right wrangle underscore b likewise if alice performs a measurement of spin in the x direction that is with respect to the basis plus a minus a display style left plus right wrangle underscore a left right wrangle underscore a 
then Bob's system will be left in one of the states plus b minus b display style left plus right wrangle underscore b left right wrangle underscore b schrodinger referred to this phenomenon as steering this steering occurs in such a way that no signal can be sent by performing such a state update. Quantum nonlocality cannot be used to send messages instantaneously and is therefore not in direct conflict with causality concerns in special relativity. In the Copenhagen view of this experiment, Alice's measurement and particularly her measurement choice have a direct effect on Bob's state. However, under the assumption of locality, actions on Alice's system do not affect the true or ontic state of Bob's system. We see that the ontic state of Bob's system must be compatible with one of the quantum states b display style left up arrow right wrangle underscore b or b display style left down arrow right wrangle underscore b since Alice can make a measurement that concludes with one of those states being the quantum description of his system. At the same time, it must also be compatible with one of the quantum states. B. Display style left left arrow right wrangle underscore B. Or B. Display style left right arrow right wrangle underscore B. For the same reason, therefore, the ontic state of Bob's system must be compatible with at least two quantum states. The quantum state is therefore not a complete descriptor of his system. Einstein, Podolsky and Rosen saw this as evidence of the incompleteness of the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum theory, since the wave function is explicitly not a complete description of a quantum system under this assumption of locality. Their paper concludes, While we have thus shown that the wave function does not provide a complete description of the physical reality, we left open the question of whether or not such a description exists. We believe, however, that such a theory is possible. Although various authors most notably Niels Bohr criticized the ambiguous terminology of the EPR paper, the thought experiment nevertheless generated a great deal of interest. Their notion of a complete description was later formalized by the suggestion of hidden variables that determine the statistics of measurement results, but to which an observer does not have access. Bohmian mechanics provides such a completion of quantum mechanics, with introduction of hidden variables, however the theory is explicitly nonlocal. The interpretation therefore does not give an answer to Einstein's question, which was whether or not a complete description of quantum mechanics could be given in terms of local hidden variables in keeping with the principle of local action. <laughs> Probabilistic nonlocality. In 1964 John Bell answered Einstein's question by showing that such local hidden variables can never reproduce the full range of statistical outcomes predicted by quantum theory. Bell showed that a local hidden variable hypothesis leads to restrictions on the strength of correlations of measurement results. If the Bell inequalities are violated experimentally as predicted by quantum mechanics, then reality cannot be described by local hidden variables and the mystery of quantum nonlocal causation remains. According to Bell, this grossly non-local structure is characteristic of any such theory which reproduces exactly the quantum mechanical predictions. Clauser, Horn, Shimoni and Holt CHSH reformulated these inequalities in a manner that was more conducive to experimental testing see CHSH inequality. They proposed a scheme whereby two experimentalists, Alice and Bob, make separate measurements of photon polarization in two carefully chosen directions, and derived a simple inequality that is obeyed by all local hidden variable theories, but violated by certain measurements on quantum states. Bell formalized the idea of a hidden variable by introducing the parameter λ to locally characterize measurement results on each system. It is a matter of indifference whether λ denotes a single variable or a set and whether the variables are discrete or continuous. However, it is equivalent and more intuitive to think of λ as a local strategy or message that occurs with some probability ρ. Lambda display style lambda when an entangled pair of states is created 
EPR's criteria of local separability then stipulates that each local strategy defines the distributions of independent outcomes if Alice measures in direction A and Bob measures in direction B. P A B A B lambda equals P A A lambda P B B lambda display style p left a b a b lambda right equals p left a a lambda right p left b b lambda right where for instance p a a lambda display style script style p left a a lambda right denotes the probability of Alice getting the outcome a given lambda, and that she measured a. Suppose that lambda can take values from some set lambda i display style lambda underscore i where 1 i k. If each lambda i display style lambda underscore i has an associated probability rho lambda i Display style lambda underscore i a being selected such that the probabilities sum to unity. We can average over this distribution to obtain a formula for the joint probability of each measurement result. P a b a b equals i equals one k p a b a B lambda I Rho lambda I display style P left a B a B right equals sum underscore I equals 1 carrot K P left a B a B lambda underscore I right Rho left lambda underscore I right in the CHSH scheme, the measurement result for the polarization of a photon can take one of two values informally, whether the photon is polarized in that direction, or in the orthogonal direction. We encode this by allowing A and B to take on values plus or minus 1. For arbitrary measurements A and B, their correlator E a, B is then defined as E A B equals A B a B P A B A B display style e left a B right equals sum underscore a B a B P left a B a B right note that the product ab is equal to 1 if Alice and Bob get the same outcome and minus 1 if they get different outcomes the correlator E A B can therefore be seen as the expectation that Alice's and Bob's outcomes are correlated. In the case that Alice chooses from one of two measurements, a zero, display style a underscore zero, or a one, display style a underscore one, and Bob chooses from B zero. Display style b underscore zero or b one display style b underscore one. The CHSH value for this joint probability distribution is defined as s c h s h equals e a zero b zero plus e a 0 b 1 plus e a 1 b 0 minus e a 1 b 1 Display style s underscore c h s h equals e left a underscore zero b underscore zero right plus e left a underscore zero b underscore one right plus e left a underscore one b underscore zero right e left a underscore one b underscore one right. Compare this with the expression 
x y equals x y display style script style x o plus y equals x y and the discussion in the above example the chsh value s c h s h display style s underscore chsh includes a negative contribution of the correlator whenever a 1 display style a underscore 1 and b 1 display style b underscore 1 air chosen x equals y display style x equals y when x y equals 1 display style x y equals 1 and a positive contribution in all other cases x display style x does not equal y display style y when x y equals 0 display style x y equals 0 if the joint probability distribution can be described with local strategies as above, it can be shown that the correlation function always obeys the following CHSH inequality: minus two S C H S H two display style minus two leq S underscore CHSH leq two. However, if instead of local hidden variables we adopt the rules of quantum theory, it is possible to construct an entangled pair of particles, one each for Alice and Bob, and a set of measurements a 0 a 1 b 0 b 1 display style script style a underscore 0 a underscore 1 b underscore 0 b underscore 1 such that s c h s h equals 2 2 display style script style s underscore c h s h equals 2 s q r t 2 this demonstrates an explicit way in which a theory with ontological states that are local, with local measurements and only local actions cannot match the probabilistic predictions of quantum theory, disproving Einstein's hypothesis. Experimentalists such as Alain Aspect have verified the quantum violation of the CHSH inequality, as well as other formulations of Bell's inequality, to invalidate the local hidden variables hypothesis and confirm that reality is indeed non-local in the EPR sense. Topic. Possibilistic nonlocality The demonstration of nonlocality due to Bell is probabilistic in the sense that it shows that the precise probabilities predicted by quantum mechanics for some entangled scenarios cannot be met by a local theory, for short, here and henceforth. Local theory means local hidden variables theory. However, quantum mechanics permits an even stronger violation of local theories, a possibilistic one, in which we find that local theories cannot agree with quantum mechanics on which events are possible or impossible in an entangled scenario. The first proof of this kind was due to Greenberger, Horn and Zeilinger in 1993. The state involved is often called the GHZ state. In 1993, Lucian Hardy demonstrated a logical proof of quantum nonlocality that, like the GHZ proof, is a possibilistic proof. We note that the same state psi display style left psi right wrangle defined below can be written in a few suggestive ways. Psi equals one three o o plus o one plus 10 equals 1 3 2 plus 0 plus 1 2 plus 1 plus minus 1 equals 1 3 2 
zero plus plus one two one plus plus one minus Display style left psi right wrangle equals frac one sqrt three left left o o right wrangle plus left o one right wrangle plus left ten right wrangle right equals frac one sqrt three left sqrt two left plus o right wrangle plus frac one sqrt two left left plus one right wrangle plus left minus one right wrangle right right equals frac one s SQRT three left SQRT two left zero plus right wrangle plus FRAC one SQRT two left left one plus right wrangle plus left one right wrangle right right where as above plus or minus equals one two zero plus or minus one Display style PM wrangle equals TFRAC one SQRT two left zero right wrangle PM left one right wrangle. The experiment consists of this entangled state being shared between two experimenters, each of whom has the ability to measure either with respect to the basis zero one. Display style left zero right wrangle left one right wrangle or plus minus display style left plus right wrangle left right wrangle we see that if they each measure with respect to 0 1 display style left 0 right wrangle left 1 right wrangle then they never see the outcome 11 display style left 11 right wrangle if one measures with respect to 0 1 display style left 0 right wrangle left 1 right wrangle and the other plus minus display style left plus right wrangle left right wrangle they never see the outcomes minus 0 display style left minus 0 right wrangle 0 minus Display style left zero right wrangle. However, sometimes they see the outcome minus minus display style left right wrangle when measuring with respect to plus minus display style left plus right wrangle left right wrangle since minus minus psi equals minus one two three does not equal zero. Display style Langle, psi wrangle equals TFRAC one two SQRT three NEQ zero. This leads us to the paradox, having the outcome minus minus Display style Wrangle. We conclude that if one of the experimenters had measured with respect to the zero 1 display style left 0 right wrangle left 1 right wrangle basis instead the outcome must have been minus 1 display style 1 wrangle or 1 minus display style 1 wrangle since minus 0 display style 0 wrangle and Zero minus display style zero wrangle are impossible. But then, if they had both measured with respect to the zero one display style left zero right wrangle left one right wrangle basis by locality, the result must have been eleven display style left eleven right wrangle, which is also impossible. Topic. Differences between nonlocality and entanglement In the media and popular science, quantum nonlocality is often portrayed as being equivalent to entanglement. 
While it is true that a pure bipartite quantum state must be entangled in order for it to produce nonlocal correlations, there exist entangled mixed states which do not produce such correlations, and there exist non-entangled states that do produce some type of non-local behavior. For the former, a well-known example is constituted by a subset of Werner states that are entangled but whose correlations can always be described using local hidden variables. On the other hand, reasonably simple examples of Bell inequalities have been found for which the quantum state giving the largest violation is never a maximally entangled state, showing that entanglement is, in some sense, not even proportional to nonlocality. In short, entanglement of a two party state is necessary but not sufficient for that state to be nonlocal. It is important to recognize that entanglement is more commonly viewed as an algebraic concept, noted for being a precedent to nonlocality as well as quantum teleportation and superdense coding, whereas nonlocality is interpreted according to experimental statistics and is much more involved with the foundations and interpretations of quantum mechanics. Topic: <laughs> Superquantum nonlocality. Whilst the CHSH inequality gives restrictions on the CHSH value attainable by local hidden variable theories, the rules of quantum theory do not allow us to violate Cyrilson's bound of 2 2 even if we exploit measurements of entangled particles. The question remained whether this was the maximum CHSH value that can be attained without explicitly allowing instantaneous signaling. In 1994 two physicists, Sandu Popescu and Daniel Rorlich, formulated an explicit set of correlated measurements that respect the non-signaling principle, yet give S C H S H equals 4 display style S underscore C H S H equals 4 the algebraic maximum. The maximal violation of CHSH consistent with no signaling was also found, earlier, by Rastel and Kalfin and Cyrilson. This demonstrated that there exist formulatable theories that are non-signaling, yet drastically violate the joint probability constraints of quantum theory. The attempt to understand what distinguishes quantum theory from such general theories motivated an abstraction from physical measurements of nonlocality, to the study of nonlocal boxes. Nonlocal boxes generalize the concept of experimentalists making joint measurements from separate locations. As in the discussion above, the choice of measurement is encoded by the input to the box. A two-party non-local box takes an input A from Alice and an input B from Bob, and outputs two values A and B for Alice and Bob respectively and separately, where A, B, A and B take values from some finite alphabet normally 0 1 The box is characterized by the probability of outputting pair A, B, given the inputs A, B. This probability is denoted P a B A B display style script style P left A B A B right and obeys the normal probabilistic conditions of positivity and normalization P A B A B zero A B A B Display style p left a b a b right g e q zero quad for all a b a b and a b p a b a b equals one a b Display style sum underscore a b p left a b a b right equals one quad for all a b a box is local or admits a local hidden variable model if its output probabilities can be characterized in the following way p a b a b equals lambda p lambda p a A Lambda P B B Lambda 
display style p left a b a b right equals sum underscore lambda p lambda p left a a lambda right p left b b lambda right where p a a lambda display style script style p left a a lambda right and p b b lambda display style script style p left b b lambda right describe single input output probabilities at alice's or bob's system alone and the value of lambda display style lambda is chosen at random according to some fixed probability distribution given by p lambda display style p lambda intuitively lambda display style lambda corresponds to a hidden variable or to a shared randomness between alice and bob if a box violates this condition it is explicitly called nonlocal However, the study of nonlocal boxes often encompasses both local and nonlocal boxes. The set of nonlocal boxes most commonly studied are the so-called non-signaling boxes, for which neither Alice nor Bob can signal their choice of input to the other. Physically, this is a reasonable restriction. Setting the input is physically analogous to making a measurement, which should effectively provide a result immediately. Since there may be a large spatial separation between the parties, signaling to Bob would potentially require considerable time to elapse between measurement and result, which is a physically unrealistic scenario. The non-signaling requirement imposes further conditions on the joint probability, in that the probability of a particular output A or B should depend only on its associated input. This allows for the notion of a reduced or marginal probability on both Alice and Bob's measurements, and is formalized by the conditions. B P A B A B equals B P A B A B P A A A A B B Display style sum underscore b p left a b a b right equals sum underscore b p left a b a b right equiv p left a a right quad for all a a b b and a p a b a b equals a p a B A B P B B B B A A Display style sum underscore A P left A B A B right equals sum underscore A P left A B A B right equiv P left B B right quad for all B B A A the constraints above are all linear, and so define a polytope representing the set of all non-signaling boxes with a given number of inputs and outputs. Moreover, the polytope is convex because any two boxes that exist in the polytope can be mixed as above, according to some variable lambda display style lambda with probabilities p lambda display style p lambda to produce another box that also exists within the polytope. Local boxes are clearly non-signaling, however non-local boxes may or may not be non-signaling. Since this polytope contains all possible non-signaling boxes of a given number of inputs and outputs, it has as subsets both local boxes and those boxes which can achieve Cyrilson's bound in accord with quantum mechanical correlations. Indeed, the set of local boxes form a convex sub-polytope of the non-signaling polytope. 
Popescu and Rorlich's maximum algebraic violation of the CHSH inequality can be reached by a non-signaling box, referred to as a standard PR box after these authors, with joint probability given by P A B A B equals 1 2, if a B equals a B0, otherwise display style P left A B A B right equals begin cases FRAC 1 2, and M box if a O plus B equals a B0, and M box otherwise Otherwise, end cases where display style o plus denotes addition modulo two. Various attempts have been made to argue why nature does not or should not allow for stronger nonlocality than quantum theory is already known to permit. For example, in recent publications, it was found that quantum mechanics cannot be more nonlocal without violating the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Strikingly, it has been discovered that if PR boxes did exist, any distributed computation could be performed with only one bit of communication. An even stronger result is that for any non-local box theory which violates Cyrilson's bound, there cannot be a sensible measure of mutual information between pairs of systems. This suggests a deep link between non-locality and the information-theoretic properties of quantum mechanics. Nevertheless, the PR box is ruled out by a plausible postulate of information theory. Non-signaling adversaries have recently been considered in quantum cryptography. Such an adversary is constrained only by the non-signaling principle, and so may potentially be more powerful than a quantum adversary. <laughs> Blasiak's model Similarly to de broglie bohm pilot wave theory, Blasiak's model stipulates in the ontology a particle and a pilot wave, and the pilot wave ensures predictions indistinguishable from the quantum case. The main distinction is wave function collapse. De Broglie Bohm theory avoids collapse by including the whole universe with all particle detectors, other devices, observers, etc. into the system. Blasiak's model describes a single particle in a quantum circuit called interferometric circuit that contains devices such as phase shifters, beam splitters, and particle detectors. Usually, a detector causes collapse, non-local discontinuous change of a wave function. But Blasiak's model treats detection without violating the locality principle, via the following ideas. The wave function consists of fragments. Each fragment emerges from a detection, and propagates from the point of detection, gradually crowding out older fragments. The particle moves inside the expanding region occupied by the most recent fragment. Thus, obsolete fragments are harmless, they never pilot the particle. Gradual elimination of older fragments is implemented via the third ontological component, a field that carries information on the time of the most recent detection in the causal past of a given space-time point. No information can travel faster than light Nonlocality does not mean that information can travel faster than light. Indeed, quantum field theory preserves causality, meaning that no influence can be projected between two points faster than the speed of light. This can be shown by noting that the commutator of two spacelike local quantum operators is always zero or anti-commutator for fermionic operators. See also Action at a distance Popper's experiment Quantum pseudo-telepathy Quantum contextuality Quantum foundations <laughs>